Symmetric matrices have the property that you only need to store half of the matrix. Now, if you only store half of the matrix, then you can't just do a matrix vector multiply with that matrix because half of it is not stored. So we're going to look now how to do the matrix vector multiplication with a matrix that is symmetric, where only half of the matrix is stored. So again, on the left, we have our original matrix vector multiplication algorithm. And on the right, we have this version where we march through the matrix exposing quadrants. What we're going to do is we're going to again look at y equals a times x plus y. But now a is symmetric. So we have a matrix. We know where its diagonal is. And what we've learned is that sometimes we will want to only store half of the matrix because when it's a symmetric matrix, we don't need to store the other half. Or rather, we can use the other half for some other data. The question now becomes, how can we do this matrix vector multiply without symmetrizing the matrix? In other words, without duplicating the data into this triangle. And doing that is bad for two reasons. One is it requires memory operations, and that's not a good thing. And the second part is there may be data up here that you may not want to overwrite. And if you create a new matrix and you copy over into that new matrix, then you need extra storage and you do all of these memory operations that are not useful computation. So all of that is bad. So let's have a look at a typical situation in this algorithm as we march through it. We have this matrix partitioned into the different regions. We're showing here a concrete example. And in this particular case, we're assuming that the upper triangular part is actually stored. And for this reason, we have the entries in the lower triangular part in gray. If you perform a dot product with the current row, notice that you have to do this times that plus this times that plus this times that. And that is a given right here. But notice that this part here is in gray. It doesn't really exist. And what to do about that? Well, let's clean this up a little bit. So let's go back to this point right here. And let's focus on this part right there. Well, notice that we learned when we symmetrized a matrix that this part of the row right here is just the transpose of this part of the column right there. So what we can do is we can replace that we can replace this with the vector 4 minus 1 transposed. And then we can simply use the data that's sitting right there, and we're good. So this here, notice, is stored in A0, 1, and then we have to transpose that. Okay, so here we again have our algorithm that marches through the matrix by quadrants and performs a dot product of the current row with the with the vector and that's all written out right here and to now change this to, into an algorithm where we only access the upper triangular part of the matrix all we need to do is take this and replace it with a 0 1 transpose what is the cost well we can go through a complete analysis but what you very quickly notice is that we're still doing exactly the same operations as we did with our regular matrix. And the cost of a matrix matrix multiply was 2 times m times n. But now notice that because the matrix is square, otherwise it can't be symmetric, m is equal to n, and therefore the total cost is 2n squared. What if we look at the AXP-based algorithm instead? Here we have it again, and notice that when we use the AXP-based algorithm, we take this element of x, multiply it times this column of A and add it to what's being accumulated in Y. So that gives us this right here. But notice that this part here is not actually stored. A21 is not actually stored. What to do about that? Well, all we need to do is replace this part by chi1 times A12 transpose transposed plus y2 and we're good because notice that this part right here is just a transpose of that part right there 
here's our algorithm again. All we need to do is replace this line right here by y2 becomes chi1. Now, what we were doing is multiplying times that. What we instead want to do is multiply by a12 transpose, transposed, adding the result of that to y2. Again, what is its cost? Well, we can do a complex cost analysis, or we can simply recognize that we're still doing all of these computations. We just choose to take our data out of a, a different place. So the cost is still 2n squared. So what have we seen? If you want to do y equals a times x plus y, where y is symmetric and only half of the matrix is concerned, we can do that without actually symmetrizing the matrix. And we noticed that the way we express our algorithms, it was very easy to change the matrix matrix multiply algorithm for a general matrix A to one that could accommodate a symmetric matrix. So slicing and dicing is helpful.